A wearable device featured in a recent Chinese sci-fi film, The Wandering Earth 2, sparked heated discussion on hard technology. The exoskeleton suits developed by Chinese company ULS Robotics have already been put into real life use. It's mainly used for like a minor uh, construction site and uh, airport luggage transportation. The Shanghai-based company is one of the few exoskeleton robot companies that can develop and own the core technology independently. A number of companies in the mechanical and medical industries have thrived over the past several years under the broad strategy of Robot Plus, with a particular support for the development of exoskeleton robots. I've decided to try it on to experience the benefits. Using this device is sort of like having a spot in the gym. I have added support for my lower back, strengthen my quads, and an easy lift. Quad assistance. Repeat. The future is bright for Xu, with the market size of China's exoskeleton robot industry expected to reach 10.5 billion yuan in 2025. He's confident that his innovation will transform the lives of the elderly for the better in the future. In the future, we will design uh, lighter, smaller, and cheaper exoskeletons for the elder people applications. With China being Africa's largest trading partner, the exchange of this particular technology could prove timely for the continent's massive growth in infrastructure and suburban projects, another market to tap into. I guess we can say the future is in good hands with China tech development. Richard Nta, CGTN, Shanghai.